Imagine a ship once robust and filled with life, now drifting aimlessly, uninhabited and silent through the vast icy expanses of the North Atlantic or resting in an eternal slumber on a foreign shoreline. The image is unsettling, isn't it? It's a stark reminder of our mortality and the inevitable march of time. Today we delve into the eerie world of abandoned ships, ghostly giants of the sea whose stories continue to captivate and mystify us. Welcome to a voyage into the unknown, as we explore the chilling tales of the MV Lubov Olova and the SS American Star. Have you ever thought about the life of a ship after it's decommissioned? Well, some vessels lead a pretty interesting afterlife, like the MV Lubov Olova. This colossal 300-foot cruise ship, named after the famous Soviet actress Lyubov Petrovna Orlova, was built in Yugoslavia in 1976. It was a magnificent vessel designed to explore the polar regions. But as we're about to see, the ice-cold seas would ultimately become its chilling resting place. The Lyubov Orlova was seized in 2010 in Newfoundland, Canada, due to a debt dispute. After being docked for two years, it was sold to a Dominican buyer for scrap in 2012. However, while being towed to the Dominican Republic, the tow line snapped in heavy seas, and the ship began drifting eastward into international waters. From then, the Lyubov Orlova became known as the Ghost Ship of the Arctic. Despite repeated attempts to secure the ship, it proved elusive. Powered only by currents and winds, this ghost ship roamed the seas, its exact whereabouts often unknown. There were rumors and reports suggesting that the ship may have finally sunk, but without firm evidence, its fate remained a maritime mystery. As for exploration, it's not just about the thrill of discovery. Safety is paramount, and the Lyubov Orlova, abandoned for years and battered by the elements, presented too many risks. Its interior spaces would have deteriorated significantly, and structural integrity would be questionable at best. There's also the consideration of legal rights to a vessel adrift in international waters. Besides, there's a much creepier aspect to consider. The ship was rumored to be infested with cannibal rats. Yes, you heard that right. Left without a food source, the rats aboard would have turned to cannibalism. It's a frightening thought, a ship full of potentially diseased cannibal rats roaming the high seas. Despite the creepy fascination and mystery surrounding it, the MV Lyubov Orlova remains a chilling reminder of the unpredictable forces of nature and the ghostly afterlife that some ships can lead once they've outlived their intended purpose. We may never know what really happened to it, and maybe that's for the best. After all, who's ready to tackle a potential rat-infested ghost ship? If you thought that was it for the Lyubov Orlova, well, the plot thickens, my friends. After disappearing into the fog, the fate of this ghost ship was a mystery that stirred up the imagination of many and resulted in several chilling theories and reported sightings. In January 2013, the ship was spotted 250 nautical miles off the coast of Ireland by the Atlantic Hawk, an offshore supply ship under contract to Husky Energy. The crew managed to secure it with a tow line, but authorities soon ordered them to release it, citing the lack of danger to offshore oil installations or shipping traffic. So, once again, the Lyubov Orlova was left to drift aimlessly. Rumors started to circulate about its location. Sightings were reported, though unconfirmed, some as far off as the coasts of Scotland and Norway. People began to speculate about it reaching the shores of Ireland or the United Kingdom, fueled by satellite images in 2013 suggesting a large object was drifting towards the UK. One of the most chilling theories was that the ship, adrift and abandoned, could be on a collision course with the oil rigs in the North Sea. Can you imagine an unmanned, dilapidated ship of this size causing a catastrophe on an oil rig? A true maritime horror story. And then there were those cannibal rats. The thought of a ship teeming with such desperate creatures stirred the imagination and was stuffed for nightmares, let alone the disease threat they could potentially carry if the ship ever made landfall. As for exploration, despite the allure of a ghost ship shrouded in mystery, it remained unexplored due to the considerable risks involved. Its structural instability, unpredictable location, and the potential rat infestation made it a less than desirable candidate for a safe exploration. But here's where the story takes an eerie turn. The Lyubov Orlova suddenly stopped transmitting its location signal in March 2013. From that point on, it vanished without a trace. Many experts now believe that it probably sank, put to rest in the deep, dark depths of the Atlantic Ocean. 
But without concrete proof, the true fate of this ghost ship remains as elusive as its last known journey. The MV Lyubov Orlova's story serves as a haunting reminder of what happens when man-made structures are left to the mercy of nature's elements, evolving from a symbol of human achievement to a phantom adrift in the vastness of the ocean, its tail etched in the annals of maritime lore. Imagine a ship, an ocean liner no less, one that once gleamed with the promise of opulence and grand voyages, now reduced to a skeletal wreckage. We're taking a leap across the Atlantic, to a beach off the coast of Fuerteventura in the Canary Islands, to find our next shipwreck, the SS American Star. Originally launched in 1939 as SS America, this ship had quite an illustrious career. In its heyday, the SS American Star was a symbol of elegance and a testament to the grand era of ocean liners. But what makes the American Star so captivating is not the voyages it undertook, but rather its final resting place. In 1993, the ship was being towed from Greece to Thailand to be converted into a floating hotel when a thunderstorm severed the tow lines, casting the ship adrift. For 48 hours, it was battered by stormy seas until it ran aground off the west coast of Fuerteventura. The ship, once a beacon of luxury, was left stranded, half submerged and at the mercy of the elements, slowly disintegrating under the relentless assault of waves and time. What remains today is just a haunting ghost of its former self. It's a sight that's both beautiful and sad, a stark contrast to the picturesque beaches of the Canary Islands. A shipwreck on a beach, well within reach of the shore, might seem like an explorer's dream, right? Not quite. Although the SS American Star is visible from the shore, exploring it is a different ballgame. It's a dangerous endeavor, one filled with unexpected hazards. The ship has been subject to intense coastal erosion. Salt water, waves and wind have worn down its structures, rendering the ship extremely unstable. Over the years, sections of the ship have collapsed, vanishing beneath the waves. By 2007, the ship had broken in two with the stern section completely submerged. What's more, the local currents and the surf are incredibly powerful and unpredictable, posing a serious risk for any who dare to approach the wreckage. Although the site has attracted its fair share of adventurous souls over the years, it's strongly discouraged due to these dangers. But the power of the SS American Star story lies not in its exploration, but in its visible decay. It serves as a sobering spectacle, a lesson in the relentless power of nature. From the shore, onlookers can witness the ship's transformation from a once proud ocean liner into a symbol of entropy, its silhouette slowly fading with each passing day. An eerie monument to the passage of time. There's something hauntingly beautiful about the American Star. Its decaying remains, jutting out from the surf, paint a poignant picture of a bygone era, etching its ghostly outline onto the canvas of maritime history. But more than that, the ship serves as a tangible reminder of our transience in the face of nature's relentless force. But what happened after the SS American Star ran aground? Did the elements eventually consume the once proud ship? Well, much like the city of Venice, the SS American Star found itself in a battle against time and tide, in a slow, inevitable descent into the sea. After the shipwreck in 1994, the ship became a bizarre tourist attraction, visible from the shores of Fuerteventura. Tourists would flock to the beach to catch a glimpse of the ship's silhouette against the horizon, and more daring adventurers would kayak out to the wreck for a closer look. However, the SS American Star was not just an object of fascination for humans, it also became a haven for various forms of marine life. Coral began to grow on its hull, attracting a variety of fish, and over the years the shipwreck slowly transformed into a makeshift artificial reef. As strange as it might sound, even in its derelict state, the SS American Star found a way to contribute to life. However, the harsh conditions of the Atlantic were relentless. The battering of the waves, the corrosive salt water, the gusty winds, all of these factors began to take their toll on the ship. In 2007, barely a decade after it had run aground, the ship broke in half due to the constant onslaught of the elements. And by 2013, the majority of the ship had sunk beneath the waves, disappearing from the sight of the beachgoers who had been drawn to its eerie beauty. Today, almost nothing of the SS American Star remains visible above water. The once majestic ship is now a hidden underwater relic, visited only by intrepid divers and its non-human inhabitants. 
Its final resting place serves as a haunting reminder of the ship's once illustrious history and a testament to the relentless power of nature. It's a story that continues to captivate, even as the ship itself fades away, slowly being reclaimed by the sea from which it once emerged. And so, our maritime journey comes to an end. We've navigated the chilling tales of the MV Lyubov Orlova, the ghost ship of the North Atlantic and the SS American Star, whose remains now lie hidden beneath the waves off the coast of Fuerteventura. These hulking vessels, once brimming with life and purpose, now serve as stark reminders of our past and the relentless forces of time and nature. They captivate our imaginations, not just as tales of derelict ships, but as stories of human ambition, triumph and ultimately surrender to the elements. As we bid them farewell, these ghostly giants of the sea continue their silent vigil, carrying with them the echoes of bygone eras into the vast, uncharted waters of the future. As always, thanks for watching.